a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls. Here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the New Orleans Saints. More now on the return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing here, Dobbs. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Now the veteran workhorse. Here's James Conner. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Now Dobbs to Connor on the check down. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this one taken in by Alave. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. To throw its car. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? Yeah, you know, used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but he's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved as a thrower. Now he can push the ball downfield, but still, the number one things you want to take away, short passes, intermediate passes. So sharp, precise, and accurate, you got to sit on those routes in order to cause him problems. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Complete. It's Johnson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports.
Second down and six now. Now Carr. Open man left side. Shahid has it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 20-yard line. Give them 18 on the play. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Setting up the screen for Miller. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Make it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So first and goal from the nine-yard line. From the gun, it's Carr. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Now Carr. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Carr now on third and goal. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. And this one is right through. And the Saints are going to take a 3 nothing lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. team on the field now as they will send this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. Arizona's offense at the line ready to get their drive started. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Dobbs. Got his man, it's Dorch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Cardinals got to go quickly, hustling to the line. 
On first down, Dobbs to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now is second and ten. To throw is Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Dobbs to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. Dobbs is throwing. Screen pass to Connor. He's in the space past the 25 and down to the 19-yard line. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Dobbs. A good throw here, finding Pascal. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Back to throw Dobbs. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. Touchdown, Cardinals! Marquise Brown as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. 
And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. The final shot here before half for Carr. Looking here for Smith downfield. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Buying time to his left. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. On first and 10, Dobbs. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and 10 is counter. Demario Davis there on the stop. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans. Rolling along here in the third quarter. Second and ten. Again, a run with Connor. And this time, he won't even make it back to the line of scrimmage as they stop him in his tracks. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about the job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. He'll get this to Connor underneath. 
And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will give the lead up to seven. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to three. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Send it away following the made field goal. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Here's Carr to throw. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Carr. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender, but a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Well, they'll run it here on the gym. Now, Brown, oh, he lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So time for Carr and the Saints. Trailing 10 to three, just under two minutes to go. The late fumble gives him unexpected new life as they come up first down. They'll come up now on second down. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jamal Williams, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, 
but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. On the return, Rondale Moore will bring it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Here's first down. Dobbs. Able to find Ertz, and he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That gets him the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Plenty of time left, plus all three timeouts. Here's first and 10. Now Dobbs. Zach Ertz has it complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. On second down, Connor looking for space. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. well this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. They'll try to run for it with counter. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. On third down, it's Connor. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Crater's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. You talk about a big kick under pressure in the fourth quarter. I mean, that wasn't like a 33-yarder. That was long distance. Not only does it show the faith that they have in him, but also remember... If they miss that one, they're giving up the ball near midfield, so they had to be very confident that he was going to put that one through the post. now will send it away following the main field goal. And able to get this out to the 25. 
Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now Carr. Pass caught, Miller. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Car to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This ball intercepted. And the Cardinals are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there and asked for some help. Like, guys, we just don't have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. Said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.